it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today I'm going to take you on a really cute little ride down to what's called Churchside Park which is um, a suburb in Melbourne on the southeast and that's where I'm actually going to be getting some beautiful scents in licorice that I've ordered and a few other things from Pure Candle Supplies and I'll take you on a little bit of a tour inside Pure Candle Supplies because um, lovely Tim and his wife uh, are more than happy for me to do that which is really nice. So anyway, let's go. My daughter's with me today, so she will actually film part of um, us driving along the way so you can also see gorgeous Melbourne and what it looks like. So um, just so that everyone knows, I will not be filming while I'm driving. I am actually stopped prior to going and um, anyway, and then we will get going and film the whole lot for you. Anyway, I'll come back soon. We're almost there to Pure Candle Supply. So today I'm actually picking up a few things from them. I need to pick up my new scent that they've um, organised for me. They privately bought in some licorice scent because I couldn't get it anywhere else. So um, I don't think they sell that one on site, but they were lovely enough to assist me getting it. And um, so that's why I really like them. And they're just such a lovely company um, to work with. So I only work with companies that are really nice and helpful. Um, the same as I like to be with my customers because I think that's the best way to be in life. But anyway, we'll go towards them and I'll show you inside. And then after that, I do need to pick up some other supplies as well um, for my racks and my things that I do at the market. But for now, we're just pulling into Pure Candle Supplies and I'll show you around. So here we are into Pure Candle Supplies. They're in Melbourne in um, a suburb called Churnside Park, which is just out on the southeast. So it's say about maybe 40 minutes from um, the city, which is not so far from me really. So um, I don't mind coming here. And it's really a lovely trip in. I think at the moment they hold roughly about 70 different fragrances. Um, they are a candle supplier, but all of these fragrances can also be used in soap. They do behave differently depending on, um, you know, your acceleration and so on. But there's a few here that are definitely my best sellers that I sell. Um, I use a cashmere blend and that is my best seller um, in candles. A lot of them I do actually double blend together. I also use their lime, which I blend um, with a different blend as well and then that becomes my Fijian lime and that one's really popular as well but you can see here this is their Easter run so they do um, a few seasonal ones that um, some of those fragrances would literally just be for Easter and then they might actually delete them and change it a bit so in the Mother's Day they have like a few rose ones and so on that um, are aimed at mothers because you know lots of mums like those ones so, and their display is just really beautiful. So it's really eye-catching. So this is sort of like the Mother's Day one with the romantic rose colors and so on. And I actually really liked, liked that display. These little amber jars are so cute as well. And I do love their jars because they have a rounded bottom. I actually use their extra large jars in white and they are my best selling candles that I actually do. So, um, and um, these are the beautiful waxes. So they have a soy and a coconut soy blend. Um, both of them are beautiful. I've used, I actually use the, um, the, just the normal soy blend, which I really love. And these are actually my jars that I use right, in extra everyone. large. So we've gone to the first place. Now we're about to run into the second. We're going into the Westfield shopping center. And um, all we're going to be doing in here is looking for some more things that we can use at the market. So we use all of our props and things from the normal uh, supermarket. So let's go, we'll see what we can find. These little ones are one that I actually use and I'll show you later how my husband put these together and made um, our bath bomb rack, which looks amazing. All right, so I'm actually in Kmart here. So Kmart's quite, a, you know, like a little um, cheap store. I guess it'd be like Walmart in the US. But there's some amazing products here that you can use and don't have to spend a lot of money on your display. 
Now look at these beautiful green ones. They're so cute and lots of flowers. And they also do like a fake coral. I think their coral's only like $7. And we use um, quite a lot of these type of sort of um, beach themes um, in all of our displays. So yeah, really cheap and so affordable to use. We're back from our shopping trip. I've just popped it into the car. So now I've got this really good little um, cooker that I've seen lots and lots of people using um, for their candles. So I'll be using this to um, melt my waxes. That way hopefully it will uh, give me more space on the bench. And then of course these little beauties, these will go um, to making the back of our um, shop look brilliant. So they go on the shelving as you've all seen and seem to fall in love with, except for the little uh, blankie that's for my little doggy when we take it home. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. I'll get my husband to put these little wire racks together. I actually want them to do like a three tiered effect for the market. So anyway, that's the end of our shopping day. We've been to Pure Candle Supplies in Churnside and now we've just come out of Kmart and that um, is in Ringwood so now time to go home soon anyway so I'll pop this video up, up soon and I really hope this has helped you just to show you a few little things that we do and it doesn't have to be majorly expensive either so shop around and um, make sure you um, deal with people that are lovely and nice because you are handing over your money to them so I only go where people are lovely thanks so much bye for now as promised here is um, some of the displays that I've actually bought and used so these little um, two tier ones are they're from Kmart so they're actually really cute to hold all my soaps in these are the little baskets that I said that my husband has actually joined four of them together to create a tiered effect for the bath bombs and um, these are also containers that I've just turned upside down that you can buy anywhere they're just little wood pallets and um, these ones also were just um, little plain cheese boards. My husband popped them together.